This video looks at UV unwrapping and demystifies the unwrapping and UV mapping process. It's part of a much bigger course on gabbit.co.uk which takes you right through from beginners to advanced levels. So understanding UV mapping and UV unwrapping is an essential part of texturing because your 2D textured images need to know where to go and be placed on your 3D models. So take this cube, how does the 2D texture know which face to go on? We need to unwrap the cube in order to fit the texture around it like this. So how do we unwrap? Here I am in the basic startup file and I want to unwrap this cube. Now to unwrap you need to be in edit mode, so tab into edit mode. In order to unwrap you press U for unwrap. The two I'm going to talk about today are unwrap and smart UV project. The others are useful but for beginners it's best to just worry about these two. So let's look at the first one, unwrap. So I've pressed it and nothing seems to have happened. So what I need to do is go to these three lines up here, pull them across and create a new window. And this is going to be the node editor and pull this up and this will be the UV image editor. So this is our 2D image. There's no 2D image there yet because we haven't imported one. And here's our faces all on top of each other. So let's create a material for this object. I'll go into cycles and I'll make sure use nodes is ticked down here. If that's confusing or you haven't got it, you can just close that material down and create a new one and we're at the beginning. Press N to get rid of that menu and here's our basic material. Now if we want a texture in this basic material, we need to add one at the beginning here and plug it into the color. So let's go to add, texture, image texture and bring that in there. And then press open and just grab a random texture from anywhere. For now I'll grab this brick pattern here. And then if I hook it up, our material is now ready. But I can't see it in here yet because I need to go to textured mode. You can also go to rendered mode or material mode, but textured mode is the simplest. And that's with this button down here. So let's zoom in on our cube with full stop on the numpad. And we just need to get the image texture up here. So we click on these double arrows here and we've got our image that we brought in, which is called one JPEG. And there's our image. Now you see the squares have stretched because this is a rectangular image. But that's not important for the moment, but it is better to use completely square images when adding textures to materials. You may have noticed that the cube's faces are all the same. They're all stacked on top of each other. And that's what Unwrap does. I'm going to come back to Unwrap, but I want to show you Smart UV Project first. So let's go into this window here, press U, and then go to Smart UV Project. Don't worry too much about the settings, just press OK. And you can see it's separated the faces out into different parts of the image. And that's much better because they're not all on top of each other. We can also move these faces around if I go to face mode by pressing control tab over this window and go to face or I can click faces down here and select a face. I can then grab and move that face around my image and say I wanted this funny bit of greenery here. That will then appear on the object here. I just went into object mode so I could see that. I'm back into edit mode now and if I select all my faces there's the other ones. I can go into face mode in the UV image editor and grab faces in here as well. But in this case, anything attached to it will move along too and it starts stretching and causes a problem. So it's better to grab them in here for now. And you'll learn more about these tools combined with edit mode in later episodes. So you can see that Smart UV Project is very useful for quickly unwrapping your object and making sure it's got different parts of the 2D image on your object. So why do we need to use unwrap at all? Well, we use unwrap when we want to control where the seams are. And seams are the edges of the objects that separate your model out. So if I mark a few seams on this cube to unwrap it, by right-clicking and selecting a few edges with Shift, I'll select some down here as well, and just one along here. Control e mark seam. You can see that those seams, if I just deselect the edges, have gone a ready color. And that's where the cuts are going to be made in this object, much like the cube in this example here. So let's select all with A, U to unwrap, and instead of Smart UV Project this time, I'm going to go to Unwrap, and you can see it's unwrapped it in that cross fashion again. So these edges are all touching, and therefore the seams won't be as visible, but where I've got an actual seam, you can see the 2D image and the seam is much more visible. So that's what you have to watch out for when you want to add an image texture like this to your object. You have to be careful that your seams aren't showing too clearly. So you have to try and hide your seams where possible or you have to be very careful in linking them up so the seams aren't too visible. 
Now this isn't a problem if you're texture painting and Smart UV Project is very useful for that because it's quick to unwrap your objects or in fairly random places but because you're painting on them you won't see the seams. But generally it's much better practice to unwrap your object by marking your own seams then you have more control and seams can often become unsightly even when you've texture painted they can sometimes become visible especially when animating. So it's always good practice to unwrap using the unwrap option and mark your own seams but Smart UV Project is a quick way to unwrap and therefore be able to add images to your objects. Do check out gabbit.co.uk for examples of UV unwrapping that complement this video and hopefully I'll come up with some exercises as well and put them on there. Thanks for watching.